Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about the human brain. Okay. So we also think that about our actions like I am writing now. Okay. Talking. Moving your chair. Clapping at the end of some program are examples of the voluntary actions which are based on deciding what to do next okay so the brain also has to send some muscle some messages back to the muscles how to respond to a particular type of situation okay so this is the second way in which the nervous system communicates with the muscles so earlier we have discussed about how the message from various like sensory uh, organs from our hands to the brain involves uh, various neurons how the message transfers to brain part now these messages are again transferred from brain to the various muscles also involves different muscles okay and the communication between the central nervous system the communication between the central nervous system and the other parts of the body and the other parts of body is facilitated by is facilitated by the peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system consisting of cranial nerves consisting of cranial nerves arising from the brain and spinal nerves spinal nerves consisting of arising from the spinal cord arising from the spinal cord okay so these are the main nerves that are used by the brains to send the message back to the muscles okay so as you will expect this is accomplished through a complex design with different parts of the brain and the brains have basically the three parts first is the forebrain the front part of the brain okay so which is shown here the forebrain the midbrain and hindbrain the last part midbrain is shown here okay and the hindbrain is here this consists of all these three parts consist of the hindbrain okay students so now we will discuss each part of the brain one by one so let me first delete this so now we are discussing about the main functions of each part like forebrain the forebrain students the forebrain in human mind is the main thinking part is the main thinking part so this side of the brain okay is the main thinking part and it has regions which receive so it has regions which receive sensory impulses sensory impulses from various receptors various receptors 
so separate areas of the forebrain are specialized for like so different functions like hearing smelling smell sight so these are the functions done by the forebrain there are separate areas of association where this sensory information is interpreted by putting it together with the information from other receptors at well, as well as with the that is already stored in the brain so these information like what you are hearing what you are smelling and what you are seeing are all stored in the forebrain with the other information that is already there okay so based on the information all this a decision is a decision is made about how to respond to a particular made about how to respond and the information is passed on to the information is passed on to the motor areas motor areas which control the movement which control the movement of voluntary muscles means the muscles muscles which will take part in the responses okay for example are like muscles however certain sensations are distinct from seeing hearing for example how do we know that we have eaten enough so these are the sensations which are different from these and the sensation of feeling full is because of the center associated with hunger okay so this is done by our mid brain it is a separate part of the fore brain okay so these are the functions of our human brain like the fore brain the various functions like seeing hearing or eating see smelling so and how do we react to these situations are done by the fore brain and this is the main part of the brain which sends the information and store the information in the uh, the information that is already in the brain okay so this is all about human brain students and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you and in the next lecture we will discuss about how does coordination in plants take place okay so stay tuned for that lecture thank you happy learning